Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge Let's Play NBA 2K18. Wir spielen zu Hause gegen die New York Knicks und die erste Hälfte, das war ein ständiges Hin und Her. Jetzt am Ende haben wir nochmal einen tollen Run hingelegt. Auch äh, muss ich jetzt mal selber auf die Schulter klopfen, ihr hört das. <lacht> Dank mir, denn äh, da habe ich dann doch nochmal einige Punkte rausgehauen, unter anderem drei Dreier in Folge. Und... Äh, das ist schon aller Ehren wert. 31 Punkte in nur einem für in, in nur zwei Vierteln, also in nur einer Hälfte. Das sagt schon alles, wenn ich in der zweiten Hälfte nochmal so viele Punkte mache, würde es eine Season High mit über 60 Punkten. Das wäre schon Wahnsinn. Dazu kommen fünf Rebounds, ein Assist, ein Steal. Ein Turnover war auch dabei, aber den kann man verkraften. Und ich bin ganz gespannt, wie die zweite Hälfte wird. Ob sie weiter so spannend wird oder ob jetzt sich ein Team langsam absetzen kann. Ihr werdet es jetzt sehen. Ich wünsche euch ganz viel Spaß dabei und gebe ab an die Sideline. Ab zu David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, scoring has not been an issue. How are you getting those looks that you want? I appreciate it, DA. You know, my, my, my teammates have done a great job of, of finding me whenever I get a gap in space. Uh, you know, I, I know as, as long as I keep moving, I keep hustling, you know, they'll set me up in a position to score. And, uh, you know, fortunately, I've been able to get a few to, to fall in my way the first half. Well, it's been more than luck. You've done a great job. See you in the second half. Kevin? Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. quarter now beginning both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game and look at dj in this one he's been everywhere and, and through the first two quarters he was dynamite from beyond now i think greg the key was the team was looking for him right they knew they had a hot hand and they just kept going to it the heart of the team at the four and the five griffin and jordan williams and gallinari at the two and the three and it's dj in at the point that's who's out there for the clippers <laughs> Free throw drops for Griffin. Griffin hits them both. Knicks trail by five. Kicks it to Noah. Here's Anthony. And it's DJ with the rebound. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Well, certainly a disappointing result, but they'll live with the shot. Uh, you know, they'll take that every time. All oh, the officials are all over that one. The Clippers have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. And when you look at that free throw percentage on the season, they're, they're right around 73%. And he makes the first. Blake Griffin hits them both. Knicks trail by seven. Outside Anthony. Pass to Persingas. New York moving it around. It's deflected. Gentlemen, DJ diving into the 
the classics, knocking twice on the pipes on that rejection. Alinari on the wing. He dishes it to DJ. Jordan the screen. Griffin a screen on Hardaway. Five to shoot. And Gallinari kicks to DJ. The Clippers getting another chance here. Jordan the screen. Dishes it to DJ. Williams passes to DJ. The putback. They had a number of cracks at it, but came away empty-handed. Boy, they're slow coming out of halftime. Just 0 for 3 to start this half. They set the pick. Pass to Noah. Porzingis kicks to Anthony. Looking to get it going. Buries the jump shot. Anthony's got 13. And Melo's jumper is pure. You, you feel like it's going in every time he gets a clean look at the rim. You know, you just look back on the way Melo's game has evolved over his career. Certainly a couple of changes. He uses an outside shot far more often now that he is more comfortable with his three. And not as many fouls drawn, but he still does a really good job attacking the rim. Here's DJ after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Feeds it to DJ. And Gallinari kicks to DJ. Drills it from outside. DJ's got 34. And think about Melo's game over the years. Doris, he's made adjustments, but overall, he has remained incredibly consistent in what his strengths are. Well, this guy is a tremendous scorer from the mid-range. You can post him on the low block. You certainly don't score 20 points per game every season in your career without having multiple tools at your disposal. Here's DJ. After New York gets the three, stolen by Noah. Here's Neela Kina. Good, and a nice assist from Noah. And now, just a one-point Los Angeles lead. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Jordan, the screen, the train. It's in from long range. One more from DJ. DJ's got six here in this quarter. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. Passes it to Noah. The three from Porzingis. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got nine rebounds now tonight. Stolen by Noah. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. Now let's take a look at how the shots have been divided up between three-point shots and two-point shots for the Clippers. And a lot of shots from long distance. They're trying to stretch out the D and force them to cover out in space. And a lot of times that enables an offense to get some opportunities to attack in the paint. DJ kicks to Williams. He feeds it to Griffin. The pass to DJ. And another three for the Clippers. And the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Anthony down low. Nolan are recovering. Out to Porzingis, six to shoot. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Porzingis has got 10 points in the game. Yeah, Porzingis so good at squaring up his body when he pulls up for that mid-range jumper. There's the dish to DJ. Jordan sets the pick for Gallinari. Right side, Griffin. D from Porzingis. Knicks trail by five. Here's Neela Kina. Gallinari with the rebound. Simply have to go up stronger than that. Could be a simple layup if he shows a little more determination. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. And then for New York. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Noah. Beasley comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And it's Lee in for Neil Aquino. Everly with the ball. He's picked up by Lee. A three ball. They get it back. Back to Beverly. He kicks it to Wells. 
Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Reed a screen on Hardaway. Fires from deep. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. I think Gomez has got five rebounds tonight. A clear look for Hardaway. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Wells' shot is good. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Rivers against Hardaway. There's the screen. Just five to shoot. For three. New York, no good that time either. And here's Beverly. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. To the right side. Rivers gets a wide open look. From outside, off the mark. Knicks trail by seven. And pushing it up, here's New York. Hardaway against Rivers. Hardaway, no good. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Here's Reed. The Knicks pull it in. Persingas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Beasley. And no good that time. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Their next game playing at home is the Nets coming to town. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Clippers have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. And the first one drops. Griffin's check in for the Clippers. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Przingis. Rivers hits both of them. Doris, wearable body tracking, such as sensors. The teams use to determine stress load on players' bodies, how much they uh, run during a game, during a practice, how fast they're going. Are we taking this thing too far? You know, it's an excellent question. Listen, technology is increasing to the point where these teams now have a greater body of information with which to work. So I think just like we see in other areas of the game, analytics relative to team success, what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, the more information, the better. I think it comes down to an organizational decision. How much stress will we put on the information given by these particular body tracking monitors. I think it's got to be on a case-by-case -case basis. Certainly, the organizations will use it to the best of their abilities. But if it helps the game, helps the players stay healthy, gives teams a better compass on how to use the players, I'm all for it. Me too, Kev. Me too. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. I'll tell you, you've got to admire the energy. This guy really wants to put this one away. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. On the wing, Hardaway. Beasley, the screen. Out to Lee. Fires the three. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Hardaway has got three assists now in this one. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Wells with it by Beasley. Off the screen. Again, Los Angeles. And Wells is a problem in the pick and roll. Once he gets a little separation off that screen, he is looking to pull the trigger. And that one is good by Beasley. Clippers leading by eight. And Beverly kicks to Rivers. Inside. Here's Griffin. Again, the Clippers. No hesitation when he saw the space the D was giving him. That's two. Hardaway dishes to O'Quinn. Now, Hernan Gomez. Lee with the ball. Back to Hernan Gomez. Here's O'Quinn. And again, New York with the triple. 
Now, O'Quinn has proven to be a capable jump shooter, and as you can see, he's starting to test his range beyond the arc. That's intriguing. Here's Griffin, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. He's had five chances at the line, gone four for five. That's good from Blake Griffin. Jordan, he's checked in for Montrez here. Sessions checked in for the Knicks. Griffin hits them both. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunities. Now, here's O'Quinn. Nine points in the game so far. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. You don't necessarily have to be explosive for O'Quinn there with the solid frame. It's about being smart and drawing contact. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. What we have watched these first few seasons of his career is a steady improvement at the line for O'Quinn. He is showing he can knock them down consistently. The Knicks making a switch here. Neil Aquinas checked in. One misses. Here's Beasley. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. To the left side wing. Here's Mila Kina. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Jordan's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Wells in the corner. And again, no good by the Clippers. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Here's Beasley. No good off the front iron. Clippers leading by eight. Outside Griffin. Jordan the screen. Charity strike shot. That's good on the jump shot. Rivers has got four points now in the quarter. Shakes his man by using exceptional use of the screen. I mean, from there, it's smooth sailing. Here's Hernan Gomez, and Jordan sends it back. Beverly, the pass to Rivers. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Free throw drops for Rivers. And the Clippers making a change here. Teodosa just checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Knicks trail by 11. Hernan Gomez, right? The Spanish player comes over for his rookie year in 2017. He has certainly showed flashes. This guy has got legit size, and he's only going to improve as he gets comfortable. And Griffin sends it back. Plenty of space. Basket counts. And the Clippers lead by 13. New York's gone 3 of 5 with the long ball since entering the second half. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Neil Aquina. Picked by O'Quinn. Here's Neil Aquina. He's got 17. Offensive rebound. 
Beasley the screen. Here's Nilakina. Outside Hardaway. Beasley kicks to Herning Gomez. Here's O'Quinn, and it's off from three point range. About seven seconds separating the shot. Oh! Exceptional play across the board. I love their tenacity. Just piling it on at this point. You know, and the beauty is it hasn't just been offense, right? It's been the defensive end as well. They're firing on all cylinders right now. And so it's New York with it after the Clippers pick up two. They set the pick. Picked by O'Quinn. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And had the right idea there in calling for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. Yeah, just a matter of he needs to be there a split second earlier. Not much room for error when you're setting a screen. From deep. No good. DJ has been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. This has been a remarkable game for him offensively. Anytime you get over the 40-point mark, it's been a special, special day. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here. Knicks trail by 15, and on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Anthony out there with Kyle O'Quinn. Then there's Beasley. Then there's Noah. And it's Neil Aquina in at the point. How smart is Mello when using that screen? Just curls right around it. Good position from him. Nice. Bobs it up for Jordan. Nice catch and finish on the alley -oop. Great game for him. Double-double down. 10 points and 12 rebounds. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Here's Nilakina. And there's the feed to O'Quinn. Excellent defense from DJ. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Drains it from beyond the arc. And it's nine points for Williams. Yeah, you know, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Left side, Jordan. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got five rebounds tonight. Out to the wing. Kicks to O'Quinn. Fires for three. Another shot. And sticking right with it. Gets the foul with the bucket. And he'll go to the line. What's up? Passionate, tough-minded. Joe Kim Noah won't be denied. Can he add to his point total here? Zinkus, he's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. One shot, gentlemen. And that one misses. Clippers leading by 16. And Gallinari kicks to George. Oh! oh that oh, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> and he doesn't always feel the need to get fancy on those dunks, but when Jordan does, he, he makes it something special, just like that one. That Unleash Chaos Under Armour replay really giving us a good look at the action. Chalk up two there. Boy, that's what you call timing. He doesn't have to break stride on the pass. Pass to Teodosic. He dishes it to DJ. A three-pointer, no good. Knicks trail by 16. Here's Anthony. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. 
Anthony's got 19 points. Well, Melo can hurt you in so many ways, and his pull-up is as dangerous as anyone's in the entire league. Three-pointer. Knicks with the rebound. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same, and largely a no-show right here. It's Beasley on the wing. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And 11 points for Beasley. You know, you love your star players making others better, and Mello with the vision there. Passes it to Teodosic. It's stolen by Anthony. And now the fast break. Anthony with the ball. And stolen by Jordan. Gallinari outside. And the shot goes in. And the Clippers lead by 13. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easy. Well, really good awareness by the score. You're seeing an opening in the defense and exploiting it beautifully. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Hey, Greg, when you look at all the dunks that DeAndre Jordan has on his resume, it's pretty impressive. And Jordan, I feel, is even underrated with his dunking ability. Very agile. You can see that in warm-ups as well as the dunk contest. His unmatched power when attacking the rim, really unprecedented. He may be the best athlete in the league. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, here's the summary of what Jeff Hornacek went over with his guys during the break. He does not think they're giving him everything. He said they've been faster to us all night. Loose balls, rebounds, everything. we got to wake up. It's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. we got to seize this game. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Dishes it to Carmelo, and it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. And the Knicks making a change here. Hardaway is checked in. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Noah with a screen on Jordan. Offensive rebound. Noah, the pass to Persingas. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Very tough to affect the shot of Porzingis without leaving your feet. And KP, because of that, has the ability to keep them off balance. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. That's an example of the release point being so high, the defender has no options. You just don't see that many players, Porzingis' size, 7'2", seven, 7'3", seven, who can stroke the jumper the way he can. He's perfect from the line this time. Los Angeles leading by 11. Alinari outside. Pops it up for Jordan. An emphatic LU jam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an LU. Here's Neil Aquino following the basket by DeAndre Jordan. Here's Persingis. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Griffin's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I'm not sure how DJ is able to make that pass. That's phenomenal. He must have eyes in the back of his head. Gallinari against Anthony. Now the pass to Persingis. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Gallinari. A 
gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for. He's off on the second. Los Angeles leading by 14. Here's Griffin. A stupendous finish in traffic. Griffin's got 16 points here in the second half. Yeah, second chance points. Gotta love the way they attack the offensive glass there, even with a huge lead. I'll tell you, Greg, there's no let up in how they play. They want to dominate every aspect, and that includes second chance points. Porzingis with the ball. Williams picks him up. Shot off the pick. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. L.A. has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. A three-pointer is right on target. DJ's got 43 points. Boy, we're getting to the stretch run, and this guy has not cooled off. He is not about to let this lead slip away. Outside, Anthony. To the inside and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on an 11 to 3 run right now. Williams kicks to DJ. Here's Jordan, and good work on the boards. They pick up a second chance points. Jordan's got eight points in the quarter. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Porzingis kicks it to Noah. Plays it up and banks it in. Just take what the defense allows, right? Joe Kim Noah, good recognition from high percentage range. Alinari on the wing. Feeds it to Griffin. Jacks up a three. And it's DJ missing. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. Hardaway for three, and again, New York with the triple. That's his second make from distance this half after hitting none before that. Alinari on the wing. Jordan the screen. DJ kicks to Williams. Launches it. And DJ with the basket on the assist by Williams. Williams has got his eighth assist here tonight. And what's gotten into him today? Yeah, this is getting ridiculous. Griffin against Porzingis. Deep two from Anthony. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. Yep, that one goes in there. Anthony's got 10 points in just the second half. Yeah, you feel helpless as a defender because Melo is in such a zone. You can double team him, throw your best defender at him. It doesn't matter. And that one's good, DJ. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. The dish to Carmelo over Gallinari. A shot by Anthony, no good. Los Angeles leading by 20. Pass to Griffin. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got his ninth assist in the game now. New York's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Neela Kina, and it's off from three-point range. LA's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Didn't think that was going to go in. DJ's got 52 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Outside, Brzingis. To the middle, shot to stop the run, and it's Anthony getting it to go. Anthony's got eight points here in this quarter. This guy's pulling his weight tonight. The guys around him need to pick up the slack and start following his lead. And another three from DJ. Boy, he has exploded. You couldn't ask for a better quarter from a guy. The Knicks shooting about 45% from the four in the fourth. 
The feed to Hardaway. Pass to Persingas. Doris, I've heard you talk often about instituting a play clock from the very beginnings of someone learning the game of basketball. Kevin, I think this is absolutely critical to the future of the game of basketball here in the United States because the Europeans right now, from the formative stages, from the youngest someone picks up the game of basketball, play under duress of the shot clock. And the reason that's important is you must be a free tool player to play under duress of the shot clock, meaning you've got to be a triple threat. You've got to be able to pass it, dribble it, and shoot it. And to do that with the pressure of a shot clock leaning in on you from those earliest moments is significant. And I know I have the backing of guys like R.C. Buford and Rick Carlisle. They believe, more important than me, intelligent basketball people believe that in the United States, we must institute a shot clock from the time guys and young women pick up the game. Now, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. He misses the free throw. And, and just so frustrating for a team when you collectively go cold at the line. And that's happened to them here in the second half. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Billy Reed, he's checked in for Jordan. Montrez Hill comes in for Blake Griffin. Wells, he's checked in for Gallinari. And Teodosic subbed in for Williams. And he sinks the second. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 16-7 run. Kicks it to DJ. This one for three. That shot off the mark. And New York the other way now. Easily outside. Inside, Noah. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Oh, I love that dish down low. Clippers leading by 23. DJ kicks to Harold. He feeds it to DJ. Hit by Harold. DJ dishes to Harold. Front past the arc. And it's DJ missing. New York's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And it's Lee that time on the assist by Sessions. If you give Lee that spot on the floor, nine times out of ten, he comes away with a bucket. Passes to Wells. He kicks it to DJ. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. He dishes it to Wells. The pass to DJ. Here's Teodosic. Feeds it to DJ. Now here's Wells. Covered by Beasley. Now here's DJ. Dishes to Wells. Five to shoot. Pass to DJ. There's the three. That one doesn't go. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Clippers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I, I think most will try to forget. And on the year, looking at their record, this game will make it 49 wins. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for DJ. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Shooting two. The free throw drops in for Beasley.
so he hits one of two from the strike. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Taken away. One on one here. Here's Teodosic, and that one good. Up by double digits, little time remaining. Way to defend your house. Well, this is what you call taking care of your business, showing dominance on their home floor. What an excellent effort. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate. Richtig, richtig gutes Spiel von der ganzen Mannschaft, aber auch von mir. Zum zweiten Mal über die 50 Punkte mit 55 Punkten gekommen. Es dürfte auch interessant werden in der Rookie-Wertung. Die gucken wir uns gleich mal an. Äh, Punkte gibt es natürlich auch, wie ihr seht, massig für, diese, für die Plaketten. Richtig, richtig gut, diese Leistung hier. Mal gucken, wie viele Plaketten es am Ende werden. Jetzt sind wir schon bei 8. Kommen noch mehr? Nee. Mehr kommt nicht, aber jetzt kommen da noch einige andere Punkte dazu. Mal gucken, wie viele Punkte es am Ende werden. 11.645. Das kann sich doch durchaus sehen lassen. Ich bin wirklich sehr, sehr zufrieden. Jetzt schauen wir mal, auf wie viel die Punkte pro Spiel ansteigen. 10,2. Ich glaube, das reicht für die Top 10 der Rookies. 55 Punkte. 7 über 2 ist Look, Shaq and I want to talk to you in the studio. I block. Stand, yeah, right this way. Stand okay. here okay. and we'll get you set up. Und Player of the Game. Perfect. Was will man mehr? Hey. Hey, this is Shaq. I want to say you look like one of the greats out there how you played tonight. Woo. Did you feel like you were in complete control of everything going on in the game? I mean, to be honest with you, Shaq, I don't ever feel like I'm in complete control, but I did feel like I had a great rhythm in the game. And, you know, sometimes when you hit the floor, everything just comes to you naturally and you're able to make the most of every chance that you get. And that's how I felt tonight. Well, you felt good. You look good. You are good. Thank you, brother. Ah, oh, sehr schönes Interview. Und zum Abschluss schauen wir uns jetzt gleich nochmal kurz äh, den Rookie-Bericht an. Ob ich recht habe, dass wir jetzt in die Top 10 gerutscht sind. Das dürfte durchaus der Fall sein. 10,2 Punkte pro Spiel. Na, noch, für, noch Platz 11, aber wir gucken mal, wo Platz 10 ist. Es ist... Ähm, 10,5 Punkte, also fehlen nur 0,3. Das, das kann noch klappen. Das kann schon im nächsten Spiel klappen. Im nächsten Spiel könnte es mit ein bisschen Glück sogar reichen, auch schon auf Platz 9 zu rutschen. Also jetzt kommen dann doch die Big, Big Points. Ähm, ob ich es bis zum Ende der Saison noch schaffe, an Fools ranzukommen, ist die Frage. Aber ich denke, ein Podestplatz ist durchaus drin. Ähm, für heute war es auf jeden Fall. Wenn euch das Video gefallen hat, lasst einen Daumen hoch da. Ihr dürft auch sehr gerne kommentieren. Und wenn ihr uns noch nicht abonniert habt, dann abonniert uns doch einfach. Vergesst aber nicht, die kleine Glocke neben dem Abonnieren-Button zu drücken. Denn dann bekommt ihr alles mit, was bei uns im Kanal so abgeht. Oh, Brian will schon wieder was. Hä? Was will der denn von mir? Willst du immer noch töten, was du isst? Wie kannst du es überhaupt wagen? Mal gucken, worauf das hinausläuft. Ja, Pro M Walk On Course, da habe ich nicht auch noch Zeit zu. Mal gucken. Sie wollen. Ah, begeistert bin ich nicht. Naja, faktisch äh, war es das tatsächlich für heute. Es lohnt sich übrigens auch bei uns mal auf Facebook vorbeizuschauen. Facebook.com slash DZFM Gaming. Und äh, wenn ihr das nicht eintippen wollt, dann könnt ihr auch bei uns im Kanal Banner mal schauen. Unten rechts, da ist die Facebook-Fanpage nämlich auch verlinkt. Und was findet ihr da? Ihr findet unter anderem News aus der Szene, Tipps und Tricks, Infos zu unseren Videos, Infos zu uns und vieles, vieles mehr. Und vor allem auch immer mal wieder ein Gewinnspiel. Von daher lohnt es sich definitiv, da ein Like da zu lassen. Und wenn euch NBA 2K18 gefällt, dann schaut mal in die Videobeschreibung. Da gibt es einen Link wo ihr das Spiel besonders günstig kaufen könnt.
Für heute war es das. Im Abspann könnt ihr jetzt auf die linke Seite des Bildschirms klicken. Für Tipps aus dem Kanal auf die rechte Seite für die komplette NBA 2K18 Playlist. Und in der Mitte, da könnt ihr uns abonnieren. Und ich sage tschüss und macht's gut. Bis morgen.